I got an all wheel drive Saab here. And the light keeps coming on and on and on. And we've done all the other repairs and check. Commonly a fluid change, cleaning the filter, replacing it. That stuff usually fixes it, but that hasn't. There's a module on the side of the all wheel drive system. Replacing that usually is the next issue. But this one is actually tearing down the all wheel drive diff, placing the seal in the differential by the clutches, which will tear apart the diff and show you. This all wheel drive system keeps getting the service all wheel drive light. It keeps getting low on fluid. So we are in the process of taking the rear diff out because every time we put fluid in, it comes back not too long after with no fluid in here in the clutches. We believe we're gonna take it apart and we believe the seal in between the clutch packs and the diff is broke. Hopefully we don't need a new diff though. But. It's not too bad to take out. I mean, on a lift it's not. I don't know about it on the ground, but you can do anything if you put your mind to it. It is, it's a piston. Right. It's a hydraulic piston. Hmm. See? Yep. It seals on the inside, and the clutches push on it. Yep. Isn't that neat? So I just dropped it. Kind of a pain in the ass. So I kept the axles in, make less work. You gotta take one out at a time. And I have heard that if you see this, it means it's limited slip. Doesn't have these lines. It's not a limited slip. A little breather tube. Yeah, you got a magnet to get them. I don't want to lose them, you know? Yep. They're really tiny. So there's a little fluid in there. Yeah, my heart probably. I don't know, we probably should just take them right, right off of here, too, because this is going to come off. Take it off the other end or just leave it alone. Look at you can kind of do this. It's fine. Looks like eight or ten. <laughs> I took off all the Allen bolts. Something else is hot water. Nothing else holding it, right? I yeah, I just think it's stuck. Yeah, it's the all pins. Yeah. There you go. It's got the all pins on it. There it is. Probably not broken. Oh shit, look at that table. thing, huh? Pretty mean. Got to send all that 200 horsepower to the wheels. Yeah. Only some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> In pretty good shape. I like it. Sir. You want a rag in your one hand, Mark? That's it's supposed to come out, but it don't. No snap ring hole in it, right? Yeah, there is. Where? There's a snap ring in there, right? Or you get a big screwdriver. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Right, like this. Yep. You now, what they call it? Retaining spring? Uh, retaining spring. Now yeah. you turn it over and it'll flop off. Yeah, all over my hand. Maybe. There it is. There's all the clutches in there. They wash one there. That's a pressure plate. Fits in here. Just like an automatic transmission.
There's the, there's the bearing right there in the seal. Put that somewhere safe. Wonder how the clutches are on it. That's the piece we're changing right there. That's a that's a that's the piston. So you're gonna blow into the low this. side. Yeah, let's try this one first. Not that one. Oh yeah, look at that. Do it again. Get out. That was cool. So you're blowing into the low side. Yeah, it's a piston. And it comes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the part. Yeah. Ooh, look there at that. it is. This inside seal's really not that good. Those should be. These should be facing down. Yeah, no, that's a bell valve spring. That's what they call. There's no dirt in it. It works okay. Piston kit. These are the new. These are the new seals. The unions with the. Old. I feel the one in here. Flattened out and crusty. It's, it's, yeah. Holy. Yeah, it's flat. There's yeah. your problem. Yeah, it doesn't seal anymore. It's flat. Yeah. What I do with these usually, you can coat them with some oil. Helps. You gotta be really careful when you put this in. It's gotta go in exactly straight. Because if you make a mistake, that's the problem. See, it's not gonna want to go in. See? That's how these are. You wind up cutting the seal if you're not careful. Yeah. All right. Can't do it like that. That's a bad way to do it. Hit it with the blow gun. Oh. Yeah. All right, hit it. Pop it out again. I use Vaseline when I do crannies. <laughs> what did you say, Mark? Yeah, you don't want to hear out of Works the best, man. Right? When you do trannies? You have trouble getting it in, you use Vaseline, right? Uh, Mark, I'm covering this yep. with oil. That's good. So it'll try and slide down here. See, there's got to be a chamfer on it. There's not really a chamfer on it. It's got to go in easy. Hey, you want to blow it out again? Make sure it's in there, right? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's in there. It Actually, dirty? it's it's high on this corner. Where? Go go around here. Yep. And you could feel feel yep. the lip yep. change. In there now. Yep. In there perfectly. This is gonna be fun to get this in here. You have to turn it over. Yeah, but what? No, turn this over, Mark. Yeah, I know. Turn. Just put that on top. That's not gonna fall out. Yeah. Like so. Just like that. How you been? Good, you? Yeah, good. What are we doing? Taking uh, it's a, uh It's a limited slip differential. Mm. Out of a... Uh, I don't miss this shit. Out of, of an all-wheel drive shop. Yeah. Oh, I never got into them. Yeah, it's got a... Yeah. It's got a... Uh, it's got a drum seal, like a transmission. You ever take automatic transmissions apart? No, no. And they have two seals, it's a piston to divert the power to the wheels. Oh. And the seal wears out and it bypasses in the fluid. Yeah. You lose clutch fluid and it, it, it goes into the differential. 
And then uh, you get a get a light for it, you know. I go to place. Nowhere. No, we're going next year. So you carefully put it back together. Yep. Yeah. Two new gears. You're not going across or anything. I already did. Oh. Huh? 